Okay, in this lesson we're going to go over the concept of non-market value. So it's a, a couple of questions that we will uh, answer and I'd like you to think about. Uh, are value and cost the same thing? And why is non-market value important? Okay, so there's a video here. Um, hopefully you will watch it. Um, it is posted on, Bla on, on the course website. But a couple of things I want you to think about here. When First of all, when you someone asks you what is blank worth so what is that worth what is you know anything worth what do you are, are are they usually referring to and what they're really referring to is how much does it cost or how much money do you need to spend to get it so when i say what is that car worth i'm like well, okay how much is does it would it cost to purchase that car how much is you that house or how much is that food cost it's how much does it or what is it worth, excuse me, really you're referring to is how much does it cost. But what about things that don't have costs, that don't actually cost money? So I want you to think some, of some examples, and, and he mentioned a few in the video. We think about, you know, a nice view of nature. So nature itself doesn't cost anything. The freedom, I mean, yes, you can buy your freedom, but generally speaking, freedom doesn't you can't say like how much does freedom cost right it's one of those things that it has really really high value but there's no way to put a price <coughs> behind it in most circumstances clean air again you can be in an area where that has dirty air and you can buy yourself out of it but generally speaking you don't you don't pay money to have the trees clean the air or to have clean air clean water another really really important thing that we'll talk about in future lessons is future impacts so what is the cost of destroying resources now so future generations can't have them can't use them there's no way to really price that perfectly okay and so that is something that has non-market value it has value to somebody even if that's someone's in the future all these other things they have value to people today but there's really no cost associated with it okay and so this is really important to think about so that's this concept of non-market value. As he says, a lot of the things we value are not bought or sold, okay? So all these things and more, we don't necessarily have to pay for them, or it's not like, yeah, I want a little more clean air. I want, you know, a little more clean water. Yes, maybe clean water is, is, is not the greatest example, but the, the um, naturally clean water, you know, the, the point is that it cleans itself. Um, how do you buy more freedom? I don't know. You know, that's really hard to put a price behind that. And so as he says, a lot of the things that we value are not bought or sold. And this will address some more in, in the next lesson. But in a system that's dominated by money, as hopefully you all recognize, you know, we all spend time thinking about money. How are we going to get money? How are we spending money? How much money do we have? We talk about the economy all the time. It's always a big topic. So we have a system that's dominated by money. And if it is dominated by money, what happens if something does not have a market value, if it doesn't have a price, okay? And this is really important to think about in terms of sustainability because a lot of the things we value are not bought or sold, okay? Uh, and if it's not bought or sold, it's effectively invisible for the most part to our society, to our market, okay? And as he says, ignoring non-market value can lead to bad decisions. And we'll talk about something called social cost and market failure um, in future lessons.